Welcome to another Monday Music Minute. I'm your host, Eric Gill from the County's Communications Division. I'm still Mark Freed with the St. Lucie County Library System. And each week we come on the show and we tell you what our favorite musical finds are on Freegal week to week. And Freegal is a free service that allows you to stream and download music. Thanks to the St. Lucie County Library System, all you need is a library card and access to the internet. This week I'm going back to the covers well with Remote Transmissions Volume 1 by Band of Heathens. On this 2022 release, the Texas group teams up with alt-country singers such as Todd Snyder, Margot Price, Butch Walker, and Robert Ellis to tackle 70s classic rock and roll tunes. Some of my favorites include The Stones' Tumble and Dice, Bob Seger's Night Moves, and Tom Petty's Walls. And if you dig what you hear, check out Band of Heathens' remake of the Ray Charles classic, A Message from the People Revisited. I really like their mellow and subdued version of John Denver's Take Me Home Country Roads. Now since Remote Transmission is titled Volume 1, here's to hoping there's actually a Volume 2 in the near future. Mark, what do you got? Kamala Lynn Parks is an American drummer, songwriter, and city planner from Berkeley, California, who's had a major, major impact on the East Bay punk scene uh, beyond her musical contributions. She played drums for such bands as Kamala and the Carnivores, Cringer, The Grups, and Naked Aggression. In 1986, she was part of a small group that worked with uh, the groundbreaking, 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 ground, yeah, they groundbreaking, punk sign, Maximum Rock and Roll, to establish the Gilman Street Project, aka 924 Gilman Street, which was a world famous all ages collectively organized music venue located in Berkeley. Uh, the venue became the epicenter for the 90s California punk revival, and it's best known for bands such as uh, Operation Ivy, Rancid. Green Day, AFI, and The Offspring. Parks was the uh, longtime booker for shows at Gilman, and she also worked to cultivate a national tour network well before the internet. Um, as one writer said, uh, she helped design what would become a blueprint for the DIY scene worldwide. She was also featured as a consultant in the 2018 documentary about the East Bay scene called uh, Turn It Around, the story of East Bay punk. Freegal has uh, Kamala and the Carnivore's EP, Girl Band, and Naked Aggression's Gut Ringing Machine. Both are uh, worth a listen to if you want to hear some early punk that was just very can-do. And uh, check it out. That does it for this week's Monday Music Minute. See you next Monday.